diabetes reversal and we know diabetes reversal is a possibility particularly in type 2 diabetes and i'm going to talk on twin cycles and then of course my good friend maluk is going to talk on twin health and how we can use artificial intelligence to reverse diabetes particularly type 2 diabetes in the early years of a diabetic's life so that is what we are going to discuss and we know that type 2 diabetes is exploding and we know that asia and india is a global epicenter of type 2 diabetes we know one of the reasons that there is type 2 diabetes is because of rapid economic development and urbanization and we have changed our lifestyle very fast our diet has become very fast and 80% of the diabetes uh, across the world now lives in china and india so why are we getting diabetic because we are thin fat indians we have more fat less muscle probably it is genetic and probably there is abdominal obesity but the main reason we are having this thin fat indians is there is something called as sarcopenia sarcos means muscle penia means less muscle and when we have less muscle and more fat we get sarcopenia or sarcopenic obesity is it genetic possibly yes it is familial is it environmental of course yes because we have become slower and sedentary and we have become more and more affluent and we are eating the wrong food so for the same bmi our body composition can differ in patient a patient b and patient c you can see a very clearly that patient a has a lot of fat mass and less lean mass while patient c there is a lot of lean mass and less fat mass so typically the white caucasian is on the patient c side while the typical asian indian is patient a side that's what we see very often so indians are more sarcopenic they are more fat less muscle less muscle mass and probably it's linked to the mitochondrial defects we also look at the food pattern and we did a start study almost 6 7 years back where we found across india whether it's east india where you all are or whether it is western india southern india central india south, south india clearly we see that we can ensure that there is a carbohydrate and fat preponderance in our diet whether you are a diabetic or non diabetic and very little proteins so our indian diet is predominantly fat or carbs too much of carbs too much of fat and too less of proteins that's something which we know very clearly so obviously what is it that we need to do to reverse diabetic trends so the first thing which we need to do is that this was a twin cycle hypothesis which professor roy taylor put out when there is a positive caloric balance there is excessive liver fat and there is a pre existing muscle insulin resistance which activates the liver cycle and obviously that we get hyperglycemia which pours out a lot of fatty liver and the vldl and triglyceride which go into the pancreatic beta cell islets and we get a fatty pancreas so there is a activation of twin cycles the liver cycle and the pancreas cycle which simultaneously gets activated which we see very clearly and this activation causes a lot of cycle the first signs of reversal of type 2 diabetes the diabetes is a fully reversible syndrome came from bariatric surgeons now almost 30 years back pori et al showed that when they cut out the stomach you could get 90% free from diabetes for 10 years later <clears throat> professor roy taylor's group in united kingdom showed that if you do a severe caloric restriction similar effect is seen that of bariatric surgery in curing and controlling diabetes with e within a week's time with either intervention of liver fat is greatly reduced liver insulin sensitivity returns fasting blood glucose returns and during the first 8 weeks of the intervention pancreatic content falls and is associated with the steadily increasing rates of insulin secretion and pancreatic beta cells so clearly the body weight falls the glucose falls and the liver action of fat and insulin on the liver improves so what did they do they did it in a primary general practitioner setup in united kingdom they took a low caloric meal and they published a direct study way back in december 2013 they randomly assigned two groups a weight management group which was a intervention group and a control group which is the best practice group and the patient profile was between 20 to 65 diabetes not more than 6 years bmi between 27 and 45 not receiving insulin and clearly we can see that in the intervention in the control group you can see that a remission of diabetes was possible in primary care in at least half the subjects who had gone through and most of the subjects were off the anti diabetic drugs who responded better people who had shorter duration of diabetes people who were younger they responded better while people who had longer duration of diabetes or people who were old did not so this clearly showed us one simple concept that in the natural history of type 2 diabetes if you in the first decade of a diabetic's life if you are able to do a proper appropriate lifestyle modification you can reverse type 2 diabetes now can we use artificial intelligence because these diets are very difficult to follow to follow a very severe caloric restriction of 800 calories is very very difficult 
and that's what dr maluk is going to tell us he's a technology expert and he with his team in the us have developed this digital twin technology what it does is basically captures a lot of parameters in our body and ensures that our body can adapt to a new way of life so basically what the technology does is it tries to give us an insight in a very simplified way on metabolism so for different individual and for each individual at different times there are different changes which occur so this whole body twin technology which we will learn about today is a new technique or a invention which helps doctors to reverse chronic diseases including diabetes so what it does is it basically learns from a human being so suppose it is me then it will learn my state of metabolism try to look at if i eat a idli how much my glucose will go up if i have a dosa if i have a bisibili by uh, rice how much it will go out if i eat fish how much it will go up so it self learns the individual state of metabolism discovers cause and effects predicts outcomes and offers precision treatment to reverse chronic disease so it picks up health signals it picks up various signals including medication signals and those inputs are taken and then it is allowing us through various applications which dr maluk will explain precision nutrition sleep activity for each member and this is not just a technique or an app there is a coach which is a physical coach as a human being and a doctor so under a doctor supervision which gives insights for which medicine to take how to down regulate the medicine under a coach's supervision on lifestyle in general and precision nutrition uh, which is given by an app for sleep nutrition as well as activity we are able to get some is there other systems in the world which also can lower chronic diseases and diabetes yes there is libango which drops the a1c by 8.8 there is verta keto reversal diet which reverses it to 1.5 and of course we have this new town novel twin technology which will show that various parameters whether it's diabetes hypertension dyslipidemia to some extent a lot of that can be you know reversed in a rct fashion so obviously we need evidence so what does it do basically this twin technology we have the agp technique we all know that we can measure sugar by using a cgm which is the uh, agp which is ambulatory glucose profile using a libre pro or a libre and then from the cgm we can actually predict what is happening and how it is happening and obviously we can generate a virtual cgm and get into a decipher similarly we can measure blood pressure and watching the pattern we can have a virtual blood pressure monitoring tool so whatever we eat the food we eat is very different so obviously suppose i have a particular food like fish which has protein or if it i have rice which is carbs then some people will respond and their glucose will go up they'll be red some people will respond and they'll be green and then the the machine learning allows us to understand the food habit and allows the app to do mix and match so that everything gets greened out and this is something dr maluk will explain to you so what food what meal what combination so for example if if the glucose is going up after idli then they will say reduce the idli from 3 idlis to 2 and increase the quantity of sambar so the right portion of carbs and protein is adjusted that's what the app tells you to do and then it can reasonably predict and accurately tell us various signals to predict and reverse chronic diseases so this is a evidence based way in which we are using technology of continuous machine learning where we are having a sensor of cgm blood pressure a ketone sensor a body weight scale and a fitbit and it is integrated to all the blood parameters which are measured with the energy log a mood log a sleep log symptom log and these members then input it through the computer for signals of causality of health and happiness and they also look at the deep dive of macronutrient compositions micronutrient complication comp uh, composition as well as the microbiota and using that using continuous machine learning we can precisely predict nutrition medicine and insights and that's something which we know very very clearly so obviously you don't get addicted to these gadgets once our machines learn it then the body is able to predict it using technology and we can have less of this technology and we need to study the outcome this outcomes dr maluk will explain to you at later but we have got some very robust results on all the parameters from glucose to lipids to organ health to happiness and this is robust results so the health outcomes have been presented last year in the european congress of endocrinology and it's a rct so currently there are two ongoing rcts one is an rct which is 
undergoing in India and one is a which is undergoing in four centers and there is also an RCT undergoing in the US and it is an ongoing RCT to study reversal and with the help of reversal and with the help of a CGM, blood pressure monitor, ketone monitor, scale, Fitbit, Apple Watch and a twin app, sensor inputs, blood work and member logs for nutrition, energy, mood can actually lead to a very precise sensor reading and inputting and using machine learning, artificial intelligence, medicine database and nutrition database we can actually individually curate we can individually curate and actually make a solution so that we can attempt to reverse diabetes and such a diabetes reversal is doable feasible possible and practical so it's not something which is impossible as i told you this is a new era we are in an era where we need adherence you know the most difficult thing in uh, in in human life today is adherence so though we are born in the times of plenty, our body engines are still running in a feminine mode and we need to be active, we need to build strong muscles and mitochondria. So obviously prevention is the best. We need to eat less, we need to eat on time, we need to eat in the morning, we need to write food, we need to walk more, we need to sleep well and smile. So that will always remain but we can use artificial intelligence in a very very mindful way and we can use this to attempt to type 2 reversal of diabetes. Remember type 1 diabetes cannot be reversed because we know that very clearly. We know diabetes which does not have beta cells like secondary diabetes cannot be reversed. And we know that in gestational diabetes or diabetes in pregnancy, we can do nutritional modulation, but the reversal term is not used. So reversal term is applicable for early type 2 diabetes in the first decade of a diabetic's life. We can extend that term if we do more research. This is an exciting area and we are trying to marry medicine and technology. And that's what my good friend Dr. Malu who has taught us a lot of technology is going to tell us. So I hope that what you have listened to me, you will learn. What you are learning from me, you will adapt. And I wish you that you can sleep well and sleep on time. Thank you for a patient. Here.